Welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by EnvisionCAD. In this tutorial, we will demonstrate how to attach an image to MicroStation and then drape it onto a surface. We're using MicroStation V8i Select Series 2 in this demonstration. We're going to begin by opening Raster Manager and then attaching raster images. These two images are georeferenced TIFF files that we can open. They do store the coordinate information in the header information of the GeoTIFF, so when we attach it, it will be placed in the correct location. Once the files are attached, they'll show up in the Raster Manager, and then when we fit our view, we'll be able to see the raster images attached to the design file. Then what we need to do is go to our Settings pull-down and open up our Materials Editor. And from here, what we need to do is load a palette, and a very specific palette. We need to open up DC Drape Palette. This is the one that controls the draping of the image. Then what we need to do is do a right click on DC Drape, and then select Assign, and then select in the MicroStation view the mesh or the triangles that we want the um, images to be draped on. In this example, it's Topo D DTM Triangles is what we're going to drape it on. Another thing we need to make sure that is checked on is in the Raster Manager, we want to open the draping column and make sure that it's checked on for both the TIFF images that we have attached. Then once we do that, we can change our view attributes and change our display style to smooth with shadows. And you'll see how the images from the Raster Manager are now draped on the surface. I can zoom in there and you can kind of see the shading of the triangles and how the image is actually draped onto the surface now. And as if I rotate this in 3D, you'll be able to get a little better perspective on how that works. I do have a save view here I want to jump to and you can actually see how the image is being draped to the surface. This concludes our tip of draping an image onto a surface. For more tips and tutorials, please visit our website, envisioncad.com. Thanks for watching.